This is CBeebies on YouTube. Find even more fun and games for your child at the CBeebies website. The following content is intended for our CBeebies grown-ups audience. By watching the num tums and playing together, you will help your child to recognize what one more and one less means. Simple everyday games can help reinforce numeracy learning. One, two, three, four. While you are talking to and playing with your child, you're developing their language and building on their life experiences. Role play games like a teddy bear's picnic are perfect for this. One, two, three, four, five. When your child is learning to order numbers, they will probably be able to tell you which number comes before or after any given number. For example, the number after five is six. Six, six, welcome. Or the number before five is four. Just like using before and after, you can now replace this with one more or one less. What's after four? Number five. Number five, that's right, so one more makes five. This helps to lead on to early addition and subtraction. And this Num Tums episode is all about one more and one less. Each ticket lets in the winner and four friends. That's right, five Num Tums per ticket, which is one more than four and one less than six. Here are our top tips for learning one more and one less. Together, build sandcastles or building blocks and ask what's one more or one less than a certain number. Play a game of snakes and ladders together. Role play games like a teddy bear's picnic are perfect for this. Hand out or take away cakes or cups. Watch the Num Tums to see other fun examples. This will help develop your child's early adding and subtracting skills. When you're talking to your child, use language like adding, add on, take away, subtract, so that these new words and phrases become familiar to them. Then show your child how to do simple addition and subtraction by asking how many buttons are buttoned on their jacket. Three, four. Ask your child to unbutton another button and turn it into a game. So how many buttons are closed? <laughs> um, I'd like to buy some things from your shop, please. Uh -huh. Play a shopkeeper game together using ten pennies to buy items. How many pens do you have now? One, two, three, four, five, six. six. And how many has Daddy got left? Four. Here are some top tips for simple addition and subtraction. Turn buttoning a jacket into a simple but fun adding and subtracting game. Play a shopkeeper game together using 10 pennies to buy items. Help your child to learn simple addition and subtraction by playing games. By having fun together, you can help your child understand numbers and also learn number bonds to 10, which are pairs of numbers that add up to 10. 8, 9, 10, and you got zero. So, what is a number bond to 10? Number bonds are pairs of numbers that add up to the same total. For example, when we're looking at the number 10, 7 and 3 make 10, 6 and 4 make 10, or 2 and 8 make 10. Eight. Oh dear! An excellent way of doing this is by building a tower of 10 building blocks. You can investigate all the different ways of making 10. You could have 6 blocks of one colour and 4 blocks of a different colour. <laughs> so by playing fun, everyday games with your child, you will help them to recognise what one more and one less means. And this is the start of early adding and subtracting. Then move on to simple addition and subtraction, through role play and games. And learn number bonds to 10, which are pairs of numbers that add up to 10. Find out when we add new clips and build a playlist especially for your child by subscribing for free to the CBeebies YouTube channel.